look at what is happening now, even here in Southern Africa. I was talking to my wife this morning when I saw a creep from South Africa where water was trying to be mad to flood that area. The way, you know, in Libya it's now 10,000 plus. People have died. That Atlantic Ocean in South Africa, yesterday, it, we, we are like that uh, life was not lost. If you are if you it's very dangerous. We need to pray for this. And then we need to pray for Europe. Find your own time. Pray for Europe. Europe and Africa, where we are going, there will be crisis. There will be what? We need to pray because... It's like uh, our generation, they, our children, and us, we are now realizing that, no, 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 the way we are, we are treated by these people is not good. So we need to pray for this. And then don't forget to pray for Russia, Ukraine, and our brothers in Sudan. The war is still there. People are dying every day. The pain of that young boy, it is the pain of your boy at home. If you leave this world and you leave that boy, think about it. We need to ask God to help our leaders. Because leaders of this world, they don't want to involve God. They are always talking about economy because of education. Before education, who created the world? Hmm? It was God himself. I'm not saying education is bad or technology is bad, but outside Jesus, that technology will make you the enemy of Jesus. We need to pray for our leaders to consider that they are just human beings. God Almighty is supreme. Shall we commit all our leaders? including our very own president here in Zambia, and all the political leaders, include Russia, Ukraine, Sudan, Europe, in short, the whole entire world. Father, we need your hand upon our leaders. You hold every man's heart. You created all of us. Leadership is from you. No one can make himself a leader. You permit them to be leaders. Touch their heart. Let them know that it is you who put them there. Father, in the name of Jesus, let your right hand touch our leaders worldwide. Touch our leaders, our president, all the ministers, all the politicians. Let your love enter their hearts and speak to their conscience that you are a human being. One day you are going to leave this world. It is only you who is everlasting. You are the Alpha and the Omega. No one can share your place with you. You alone, you occupy that place permanently. Father, intervene in our country and our whole entire world. We need your intervention. We need your voice in the hearts of our leaders, in the hearts of our leaders, let them consider your love to be more important than their personal interest. In the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, in Jesus Christ's name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. No one can stand alone. No one is there because of education. They are there because God put them there. But today our leaders think they are there because they are popular or they are educated. Leadership is from there. Continue praying for our leaders. 
and the countries that are fighting, like Sudan, Ukraine, and Russia. And part of this world where there's a conflict, pray for the Libyans and the Moroccan people. There's earthquake in Morocco. People died there. That is in Africa now. Libya is Africa. Continue praying for the whole entire African continent. For God's intervention. Amen. 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 The reason why I'm saying this is because you are anointed, you can pray for them. Uh -huh. Maybe you don't know this. It is not the voice that can pray. It is the anointing. If you use your voice, you are provoking your enemy. You are anointed for this. I say you are anointed for this. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I soak with the blood of Jesus. And I cover you with the fire of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus Christ's name. God bless you.